hydroponic ni work with water kufanya kazi kwa mhai kwa kutumia maji hydro means water ponic means working so you work with water to produce fruit na ni njia moja ya ya kutoa chakula bila kutumia energy yoyote kuna wili ya unatumia hakuna kuweka mchanga unatumia just maji to harvest vegetables majina naitwa Davis Tu Watere. Mimi ni chairman Easy Abal Green Grow CBO. Tunapatikana baba dogo. Sisi tunafanya a lot of activity kwa mta yetu. Kitu ya kwanza tunafanya hydroponic as one of our project. Kitu ya pili tunafanya poultry project kuna kuku. Kitu ya tatu tunafanya incubation project ambapo tuna hatch vifaranga kwa mabeste na pia mwenye kuna kuku anazoleta mayai yake tunamhajia atafi after three weeks anakuja vifaranga yake kitu kingine tunafanya ni tree nursery tuna nursery yetu pia tuna tunafanya recycling ya makaratasi kama za maziwa kabla sugar hizo pepa hizo zinaweza kuwa reusable kufanya zero waste management kwa mtaa yetu kama vijana wa mtaa tumesema tufanye urban farming in general urban smart agriculture so hydroponic ni work with water kufanya kazi kwa mwai kwa kutumia maji hydro means water ponic means working so you work with water to produce fruit na ni njia moja ya ya kutoa chakula bila kutumia energy yoyote kuna wili ya unatumia hakuna kuweka mchanga unatumia just maji ku harvest vegetable na kimfuko ina save a lot because una save maji unatumia maji kidogo unapata mavuno mengi time ina save time maji inajimwagilia peke yake hao yuko inaji kwa automatic na pia wadudu hawa affect sana unapata imemea juu hayo yuko chini kwa ground na pia growth rate ya vegetables inakuwa mingi mavuno ni mingi kwa sababu maji ni mengi mavuno yanakuwa mingi maji kwa throughout circular so una harvest mavuno mingi kwa muda mfupi unaweza unaweza harvest mara mbili ama tatu kwa wiki kulingana na venye weza iko kama kuna joto growth rate is very high at our baridi growth rate na vichini so this is hydroponic system this is how it works kuna tank yetu hapa chini nutrient tank iko underground and kuna pump pump ndani the pump absorbs the water in a pump maji juu sha pump maji juu through these small pipes maji inaingia hapa juu maji kinja kwa pump kwa kwa pipe ina flow with velocity with gravity na teremuka inarudi 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 then it goes back to the source to the tank so it's a closed system so that the reason behind that is that kicheka pump hata ukienda wapi pump itakuwa tunajipiga ikifika masaa yake ya ku pump ina guruma peke yake automatic inapiga maji so ina control kulingana na venye umeset hiyo ina ina reduce kazi ili kushinda hapo kimwagilia maji manually. So kitu kingine tunatumia pumis, pumis ni ile mawe ya kusugua mguu, ile volcanic rock ndio tunatumia kufanya growing yetu. So growing media because tumesema hydroponic tutumie mchanga na pia tunatumia coco peat. Coco peat ni ile sodas. Ile sodas inatoka kwa coconut shell. Imesiago tunachanganya na pumis. Ni mzuri juu inaabsorb maji kwa muda mrefu. Pumis ni mzuri jiko na mashimo shimo na ni good for aeration ya mzizi yetu. So hizo zote zikiwa hapa au mboga inapata support na inaweza kusimama hivyo upright ikiwa hapa. Maji kipita ina absorb maji kidogo with the roots na ina grow pole pole. As chakula kwa maji. So pakiwa wet vegetable ina grow. With my team is the urban team. Si tunafanya potting hapa yetu list kupande miti yetu tumesema hii ni msimu ya mvua watu wapande miti eh, so this how we do potting tunachukua mchanga tunaweka kwa pipa ya maziwa yenye tumetoa pale kwa kwa mta yetu kwa pipa yetu tunasema taka ni mali so this finally will turn to something like this so kutoka kwa karatasi kwa pipa unaweka mchanga unatoa miti taka ni mali the only place ukulima inazafanyika mtani especially Nairobi 
nimeona ni karibu na mto juu huko ndio species mingi zipo for example kama sisi tuko karibu na mto kumejengwa lakini ukiangalia sisi tukuna ile space hata ule amejenga hapa ametuachia tufanye shughuli ya kulima juu anajua inaenda kumanufaa mta yetu so yeye ametukiletea hii space tuweze kuonyesha na potential yetu kwa community yetu tufanye kulima na watoto wetu wakuje wasome hapa kitunza mazingira kama mtu juu unapata wase huko mbele wanachafua mtu ovyo ovyo lakini sisi tukiwa hapa tunaweza kuichunga tukubali takataka irushwe pale juu tunakuwa macho ya kutunza mtu wetu hapa tulipo uh, this our new department uh, incubate incubation project and is urban hapa tunafanya hatching hatching process ya kuhatch mayai into chicks you can see some of the chicks wako hapa so mayai yetu tunaweka hapa mayai ya kanga ya kuku ya bata you can see mayai zetu and then after 3 weeks ifaranga wanatoka this way so these are 3 days old since zikatoka kwa mayai they have they can stay here for about one week without eating anything so it's not still lazima fanye kitu kubwa ndio earn the small thing in your community ndio nafanya una earn because when your community benefits wewe jua una benefit somewhere eh, community yako kitu mradi kikuja kwa community yako wewe jua una benefit somewhere me me honestly mimi nilipenda farming and me skuma na dakika ya mwisho ndio hii sasa mimi right right now na fuck travel kwenda Sweden kitu tu imekaa mtu bali nilikuwa tu na passport sijui kama ita expire tu kasi ya travel imekaa mimi ndio mimi naenda Spain naenda Sweden naenda Italy just to study more on hydroponic and when i benefit my people benefits my people is my community my team every person i touch is my people eh na i'll make sure you knowledge na share eh It is a very expensive information naenda kuchukua pale. So I have to share with my people afanye kitu. I want to influence these people to go to Japan to do farming. Despite from an environment at Nairobi hakuna wakulima. We can do farming. Mtupatie shamba muone. Eh wenye tuna hizo mashamba. Mtupatie shamba we show you what you can do. Yeah, na tupate job, na tupate madola tufeed Nairobi and even Kenya and the world. We believe in ourselves.